Okay, that's my weird niece, by the way. For those of y'all who don't know, she's just as weird as my kids. You'll have to excuse her. So I'm here to make an update video. I tend to make these update videos around three times a year. Uh, usually like right before summer starts to kind of let y'all know like summer plans that I have. Uh, back to school and back to work updates and then kind of mid-year. So this is going to be my back to work, back to school type of update. Just letting y'all know things that'll be going on, plans that we have. Um, all that good stuff. And try to ignore this big patch of gray hair I have going on right here. I tend to get my hair colored every four weeks. And the weekend that we went to Destin, Florida for our beach vacation, check out that vlog if you hadn't, that was the weekend that I would normally get my hair colored. So, of course, I wasn't going to do that. Um, I was gone anyway. And I should have covered my hair up with like a hat or a bandana, um, but I just didn't worry about it. Um, so the sun faded my hair a ton because it was still looking pretty good. Um, and I just haven't made an appointment since I've, since I've been back. And now it's been five weeks. I mean, it's looking terrible. I mean, the sun faded it a ton. So ignore that. It looks horrible. As far as my update goes, I don't really have a lot to update on. Um, some things that will be changing. Okay, I'm sure y'all have noticed that I stuck to my goal. I stuck to what I said I was going to do this summer as far as my filming. I was filming um, enough videos to have one go up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all summer. I have had three videos a a week, which was my goal. Um, that's what my end slate says, you know, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I was trying to give y'all a decent amount of content every week. I hope y'all have liked that. Um, and so I was really proud of myself for that. I stuck to that. The one thing I did not stick to is I wanted to get enough videos filmed this summer that I would have like a backlog of videos that would at least maybe last me a month after school starts back so that I won't have to rush to get videos filmed. And I really didn't do that. I did get to a point I was like two weeks ahead on videos. I think there was even a point I was almost three weeks ahead on videos, but then it just kind of slacked off because to be honest, I wasn't filming like a ton through the week. Okay, my nose is really runny. I wasn't filming like a ton of videos through the week. I planned on doing like four or five videos a, up a week because I thought, you know, what's what's my excuse? I don't have school. I don't have work over the summer. But surprisingly, I have been so busy all summer doing something, doing something. When school starts back, my videos may slack off a little bit. I always mention that because I am in school full time and I do work full time. If you're new to my channel, I work at our local high school as an ISS instructor. Um, so if you ever hear me say, ISS. It just means in school suspension. So yeah, I work with like the worst kids in the school. It's a pretty stressful job. I do have the personality type for it. I feel like I really thrive in that position. Um, but I don't love the job. I'm really ready to finish school. Um, this coming school year will be my last year working at the high school. So I'm very excited about that. Next year, I will be interning for a year um, to finish out my social work bachelor's degree. I have my associates in human services now. So now I'm working on the bachelor's degree part of it in social work. So you have to intern for a year to get that degree. I'm going to be quitting my job um, at the high school because I won't be able to work full time. As an intern, I'm going to be working like 11 hours a week, I believe, for the first semester and then 18 hours for the next semester every week. But that's a little bit on down the road. So this is my last year to work at the high school. Also, Isaac will be a freshman in high school this year. So he'll probably be riding to and from school with me most of the time anyway. And he's also in the band, for those of y'all who don't know. So he, this is his first year in high school band. He's actually in band camp um, this week and next week. By the time y'all watching this video, that will be over with probably. Um, but school ba starts back for us. I believe August 8th is like the first Monday in August of like that first whole week in August, that first Monday. So, and then I actually have to go to school for one day the week before just to kind of get my room ready and everything. My videos will slack off because I do work full time during the school year and then I have a full time school course load and I do online schooling um, for an out-of-state college and it is very time consuming and very hard. Now luckily, thank gosh, it works out perfectly that I'm able to do the majority of my schoolwork and studying while I'm at work each day because as long as my students in ISS are being quiet, which they're supposed to be, then I have nothing to do. I'm just sitting there supervising basically. So I get a lot of my schoolwork done. It really is a blessing, which is why I took this job in the beginning anyway. I mean, what job can you work at full time and get schoolwork done, right? So that's the whole reason I kind of took the job. And so I do have so much work that sometimes I do have to do 
some at home or some studying on the weekends, but I try to get the bulk of it done while I'm at work. Um, and the reason why is because when I come home every night, we are very busy. Like our schedule is like, you know, got to fix dinner, got to eat, got to get it cleaned up. Um, because for every single class that I take, um, you have to meet online one day a week with your class. So I take three classes at a time each semester. And uh, because of that, I have to meet online three times a week. So my schedule for the first semester. The way my classes are, they're broken down into modules. So the first three classes I'm taking from August to October, and then I start three new classes that are from October to December. So from August to October, I scheduled it where all three of my classes are on Wednesday nights. Now that's going to be a little interesting because in one aspect, that's going to work out perfectly because my kids, both of my kids are involved in so many extracurricular activities and they don't ever really have activities going on on Wednesdays. So that way I won't have to like rush and make sure that I'm able to get Andre out to the football field or pick Isaac up from the band hall or whatever. I just have all of my classes on Wednesday. At the same time, I've never done it that way before um, where all three classes are on one night. I have done two classes on a night before and that's fine, but it will be three straight hours of school. So I don't picture that being a night I can cook it's probably going to be like picking up some food um, early in the evening or bringing stuff home from the grocery store that they can like just heat up and fix themselves really quick. Um, now from October to December I'm going to have two of my classes on Wednesday and one of my classes I believe is on a Monday which I could come into a little bit of a difficulty. Andre's usually still in football in October and he sometimes has practices and games on Mondays. Um, my husband of course does help out with all of this stuff uh, but he works long hours whereas you know I'm home by 345 every day. So sometimes he's not always able to take Andre to a game or practice if he's working really late. So it gets really tough. So I have two kids involved in band and football that keeps them very busy, especially um, from August to December or August to November for sure. And then I have full-time school and full-time work. So I still try to get up my YouTube videos, but I no longer promise three videos a week every year when work starts back. I just, I don't want to stress myself out if I don't get three up a week and I've done that in the past and I do feel really bad about it. So it's going to be mostly just uh, new videos weekly. <laughs> so uh, you'll just have to get what you get. I usually always have a grocery haul. That will go up every week regardless, every Wednesday, grocery haul Wednesday, because I already am going to the grocery store every week. I have to do that. So I might as well film it. It's really easy and there's like hardly no editing involved. So you'll always get a grocery haul. Now for the people that watch my channel that don't care about the grocery hauls, I try my best to get another video of up a week um, of either a vlog or a sit down video. So, and I usually did stick to two videos a week for the most part um, last school year. So, and I'm sure there's going to be some times where I can get three videos up a week, but I'm really probably only going to be able to promise two a week. So, I just kind of want to let y'all know that if y'all wonder where the third video is, why is it she not filming as much? Well, my course load is really crazy busy. Okay, so it's a little ways off, but we are um, going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is in the Smoky Mountains um, in November. Again, for those of y'all who watched me for a long time, know that every year, the day after Thanksgiving, me, my brother, and my husband have an annual camping trip. We've done this every year for five or six years now, and we decided last year that this year we would change it up a little bit. We've gone to the same campground. You know, y'all see basically the same things every year. We did have uh, my husband's cousin go with us one year, and then last year we had a couple that's a friend of ours, a mutual friend of mine, my husband's, and my brother's that went with us last year. And now they love camping so much they want to continue to go. So we decided we would change it up. So this year we're actually going to go get a cabin, which I reserved a long time ago. Um, and we're going to go to Gatlinburg. It's not completely 100% set in stone that my brother's going to be able to go, but I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that he can. Um, but the couple that went with us last year will be going, and then me and my husband for sure. And normally we just stay one night when we go camping, but because it's all the way in Tennessee, we're going to stay for two nights. We're going to stay the weekend. So we'll probably leave early, early, early that Friday morning, like 5 a.m., because it's about an eight-hour drive. And then we'll come back that Sunday evening. 
Um, and I'll probably, that Monday, we actually start back to school. So I will probably ask off for that day of work ahead of time because I would know I'm gonna be too tired to go back to work the next day and I'm gonna have like butt loads of laundry. So um, I know that's a little ways away, but I figured I'd update y'all. I'm trying to think what I need to update on from now until like December. A couple people have asked me about this and I haven't mentioned anything about it since the vlog I did on my house almost burned down. I have not updated about our house at all. So I guess I'm going to give a quick update with that. Here it is pushing on the end of summer. Our house is still not fixed, but um, it is because for some weird reason we had a very difficult time finding anybody who was even available to do repairs on our home. Everybody said that they were going to, it was going to be pushed on into fall. Like everyone was booked for the summer that like seemed reputable anyway that I wanted to use. Um, or I found people who could do part of it. Like, you know, they might could do our vinyl siding, but not the window. And I really wanted to try to find someone who could do all of it, to be honest. But we finally found a company who said they could fix all of it and it's available. They only, it's just, they had to um, special order our window and our vinyl siding. And it should be in probably within the next week, I would imagine. So it is a possibility that he's gonna be able to get that done before work starts back, but I'm not 100% sure. I hope so. Um, I really, I'm one of those people who like to like be home and supervise what people do when they're working on my house. And I don't wanna be at work. So I'm hoping he can get it done um, just, you know, still during the summer. Uh, so yeah, it took a little while to get our house repaired. I didn't want to bother updating because I mean, nothing was going on. Um, so that's that. And it, I know I kind of touched on, uh, being worried about how our fire started in that, um, one vlog I did. And to be honest, we never really came to a final conclusion in that. It's just a mystery, and I guess I'm just going to always have to face the fact that it's a mystery. But we are moving on from that, and I got past the devastation of that. And now that we have all the space freed up in our backyard, we have so many opportunities of what we could do back there. The opportunities are endless. Oh, I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed on Monday. Again, by the time y'all see this video, I will have already had them out, but I'm hoping to vlog that experience. I'm going to actually vlog on my way there, and I told my husband, you either need to record me when we get back in the car or give me the camera and tell me to record myself because so many people don't remember what they say and do after they have their wisdom teeth. They're so doped up on the anesthesia that they're just talking out of their heads, and I think that would be hilarious, and I want to know what I said and did, and I think the world would think it was funny too. And I'm not a shy person really, so I really want to try to get that vlog up. So maybe by the time y'all see this, you will have seen the Wisdom Tooth vlog. Maybe not, I'm not sure. But I've always had problems with this one getting like infected and abscessed. It just causes me problems. And um, I heard that if you have problems with one, you might as well get them all out. Also, my dentist said my mouth is really small and my mouth is just so cram packed full of teeth. And I had braces as a child and then my wisdom teeth grew in afterwards and it just shifted and crammed my teeth together. So now they're crooked again, which sucks. And I want a beautiful smile. So um, after I get my wisdom teeth out at some point, I may look into an orthodontist and seeing what I could do to get my teeth re-straightened. Um, but I'm really nervous, y'all, about getting my wisdom teeth out because... I'm worried about being put to sleep. I've only been put to sleep once. That's when I had my tubes tied and it was kind of a creepy experience and I'm just scared about it. I mean, I'm scared about the pain in all four corners of my mouth. Might be a, a boost jump start on losing weight though. I probably will not be able to eat anything but soft foods for a while, I would imagine. So that's something else I've put off and I wanted to make sure I got done before work started back. So I'm getting that done on Monday. What is Monday? July 25th? July 25th? I think the 25th. Anyway, on Monday. I'm sure y'all can tell, y'all that watched me for a long time know I am a blabber mouth. I talk and talk and talk and talk. And I have talked too much now. So I'm gonna go. This video is way too long. If y'all stuck around this long, thanks. If y'all have any questions about anything, leave them down below. Um, I do have a lot of new subscribers to my channel. So if y'all want to ask questions in any of my videos, ask them. Because I'm thinking of doing another um, Q&A pretty soon. I like to try to do a Q&A every three months or so. Because I get new subscribers. And it's just a way for them to get to know me. And yeah. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.